Hello again, we're doing a retouch today in Photoshop CS4. I have an image up here where we're going to correct the skin, uh, correct the tone, and change the background, as well as add some um, blurring and also some kind of softening to the skin. Uh, so let's get started. This is the before, and this is the after. Uh, and we'll cover all the steps as to how we got here. Uh, but let's start with our before picture. And if you have a picture up, you can start by hitting Command-J. We'll duplicate that layer. What I'd like to do first is come down to the bottom of your Layers palette, and I'd like to launch a Levels Adjustment. And it's a good habit to get into sometimes if you have a picture up to see uh, this little histogram here with the levels. What I like to do is hold down Shift, Option, Command, and I hold the left slider, the black one, and everything goes white. I like to move it in until I start to see some information at the beginning of that histogram. And you can see the screen, I have some information coming in in yellow. And then just let go. Um, also, I'd like to take my middle uh, value here, which is the midtones, and kind of move that in a little bit towards the left and just brighten this up just a touch. Um, just take a look at your histogram. If the black side is real, real flat to begin with, you can move that black slider in. And then you can also kind of move around your midtones. And also on the white, on the other side, if it's real, real flat and you don't have these peaks like I do, you can move that white in as well. The next thing I'd like to do is launch a curves adjustment from the layers palette, and that's going to uh, be something we can use to correct some of the tones in this and to get the color a little bit more correct to start with. Uh, if you click on the RGB drop down window, you'll see that you have a red, green, and blue channel to pick from. So what I'd like to do is take the red channel first, uh, because I see a lot of red in the skin and a little bit of kind of um, too red, too gold. So I'd like to drop it right out a little bit from the middle of this, um, this band right here. Just drop it down a little bit in the curves adjustment. I have mine set at like 118, 138. Uh, now let's go up to the blue channel and let's add some blue by going right to the center of this adjustment and pushing up a little bit and getting a little bit more coolness into this picture. So that's before, that's after. Um, that's a pretty good adjustment so far. Let's get right on to a skin adjustment. When you're doing skin and you're going to do your cleanup, you should do it on a separate layer. So let's go to the bottom palette here and launch the little icon that says create new layer. Click once and it'll put a blank layer on top of your levels and curves adjustment. What I'd like to do is select the tool over on the side here, which is our spot healing tool. If you haven't had it up, just hold down and click and you'll see that it's one of the tools here to use. Um, now we're going to be running through the skin and kind of cleaning up all the little blemishes and little uh, spots that we want to kind of handle before we start getting to airbrushing or adding some um, grain or enhancing or fixing the color. So let's zoom in nice and close by hitting Command plus 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 over again. You can come in even closer with that. And I'm going to take the uh, tool that we're using, the spot healing tool, and bring it over here onto areas of the skin. I make it a little bit smaller by hitting the left bracket, and I make it larger by hitting the right bracket. It's the same command to make a brush larger and smaller if you haven't used it. Um, and what this does is this tool will kind of sample the area and give an approximation of what's going on uh, in and around the area that you're trying to fix and we'll bring it over. So I kind of find these little imperfections and my brush is nice and small. And I go around and I click once or twice in the area. You can do some dragging too. I hit around here and just clean up all these little dots and dings, especially some of the uh, little highlights that you're getting off any of the bumps or imperfections. So. Find your picture and go ahead and um, just use the spot healing on this and see what you can kind of clean up. And we'll be catching up with you in just a moment. I'm going to do this very quickly and I'm going to speed up this portion here so we can get through to some of the other work.
Now, if you have an image like this where there's a little bit more of an injury to the skin, let's launch a new layer by going down to the bottom of the layers palette and hit create new layer. This is going to be our clone layer. I'm going to label it as such, C-L-O-N-E. And uh, this is where we're going to grab the clone stamp tool over here in the layers palette on the side. If you haven't had it uh, up, just go ahead and choose it. And what we're going to do is this is a direct sample uh, that this tool is capable of. So we're going to hover over, make our brush a little bit smaller, hover over on the side where there's some nice clean skin, hit Option or Alt if you're on a PC, hold that down, hit click once, it samples from that area, and then we can kind of come over here and click on the area. Let's take a new sample from over here, and we can repair this area of skin. It helps if you resample in the area and don't always use the same exact area for your clone. So we fix that area nice. Let's back out and see how we're doing here on this photo. This is our before we touch the skin. Let's turn both these layers off. That's before and there's the after. Let's take a look at the overall from the beginning by holding down option on this background layer here. Hold down option, click once on the eye. That's our before and that's our after. We have brought this picture already to a much better place and we're going to pick up in the next video with adding some uh, dodge and burn to kind of add some shadows and darkness to the face, including putting a clef in the chin. So tune into the next video. That's our before and that's our after. Thanks for watching.